Is it possible that caring about being good at math or being good at math is actually just part of Asian culture at this point? David, this meme is going viral and we got to talk about it. Yeah, let's run the clip. Oh my gosh, so happy for first, second, third, fourth place. Oh, Chinese. <laughs> yeah, so these are the actual teams. The meme, for the most part, is correct. We'll show you the Canada team. David, from afar, a lot of these girls just look Chinese. I'm not, they're not all Chinese. Right. There's some Indian girls. The UK there's... team had a Vietnamese girl a on Vietnamese as well. Vietnamese girl, I think there's a Korean girl. But honestly, essentially, and maybe Chinese more than other people, they just really care about being high-level math people. Yeah, like, and this is what they care about. No, we're talking about hyper, hyper, elite, tier, upper crust, top 0.1% mathletes. Most of them are Asian and most of them are Chinese, uh, regardless of whatever Western country they're representing. These memes have been going around for both boys and girls, Andrew, for five, six, seven years now. And uh, we got to talk about it. Is the stereotype true? Is it not true? And, and what goes into it? Because this always sparks an internet discussion in the comment section. Yeah, let's get into the comment section. But I will say this before we get into it. I see all Asians celebrating this. Yeah. Like, even Asians who you, like, you know, just everybody saying, yeah, Asians are good at something. Asians are really good at something. And it's like, that. that is cool to see that there's not a bunch, there's not, like, a movement against this being like, yeah, see, I told you I'm not Asian because I'm not good at math. Right. Um, this loud girl had this comment, once you go Asian, you solve the equation. <laughs> Yo, I actually never even heard that one before. Um, what do you think it is? This is popularized in modern culture, Andrew. Uh, Ryan Gosling's character in The Big Short has a very famous quote where he's trying to justify his math by going, look at my quant. Look at his face. Look at his eyes. You're completely sure of the math. Look at him. That's my quant. Your what? My quantitative. My math specialist, look at him. You notice anything different about him? Look at his face. That's pretty racist. Look at his eyes. I'll give you a hint. His name's Yang. He won a national math competition in China. He doesn't even speak English. Yeah, I'm sure of the math. Actually, my name's Jiang, and I do speak English. Jared likes to say I don't because he thinks it makes me seem more authentic. I got second in that national math competition. So. Yeah, I think a lot of quants are Chinese, though. Actually, to be <laughs> honest. And by the way, here is a uh, couple of algebra problems from the 2022 Olympiad. Anyway, let's get in the comment section. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn in your notifications. Somebody said, uh, I kind of see a pattern here, but I'm not sure what it is. And somebody said, yeah, I see the pattern, too. It's that they all have glasses. <laughs> and then somebody said, yeah, it's because our eyes are too small to see. It is our destiny to have glasses. Uh, is this true, man? A lot I, of Asians do have glasses. Yeah, I think what I heard is that it is about the amount that we study and read. A lot of Asians, like, focus on small little letters. Maybe it's either, if it's, like, writing Asian, like, language characters, like Chinese characters, for example, or just reading books a lot, your eyes might not be that good. All right, Andrew, that does sound like a fake, made-up, hilarious theory. But it, they're actually, you read this, right? I, no, I... No, I did not. It's not fact, okay? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> but but there is some, yo, I heard it has to do with the strain due to increased studying hours at a very young age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. possible, man. Um, This guy said, is this why I always get stuck doing the calculations for the bill when I go out with my friends? That's pretty funny. I, I, I oftentimes do the, the calculations too. And I take pride in it. But I'm not going to lie. Sometimes it takes me a while because someone else got like a drink for themselves and then that throws everything off. Do you think though that groups of like, let's say for example, there was other races around like a group of white people or a group of black people, whatever, non-Asian group, friend group. Do you think when they need to calculate something, everybody's like, Mm, no, I, dude, at the end of the day, if that's your Asian friend and you know they're not good at math, then you've probably already had that joke or conversation. Also, there's a lot of apps Ooh. that do this for you. Do you think that the Asians that hang out with mostly white or black people or whatever, just non-Asian group of people might be the Asians that aren't good at math? That's possible. Or, or I don't want to say not good at math. I just want to say they don't care about being good at math. Yeah. David. Even ourselves, man, are, I, you know, I scored 750 on my math portion. That's not bad for a guy who literally no, does I would, not. I don't talk about I math. I would say for a Chinese guy, you are not considered good at math. No. no for, within the Chinese world. Yeah, within the Chinese world. Yeah. 
But it, like we said, every community got different standards and thresholds for things and uh, different ways they rank things low, middle, high. This guy said, uh, yeah, that's the same for the ping pong world championships too. And someone said, yeah, it's the exact same team. The math team takes breaks so they play ping pong during lunch. Dude, <laughs> a lot. And, and like, let's say... David, playing ping pong, is that part of Asian culture at this point? Because a lot of, and, and maybe if we need to narrow it down and be really nuanced, I can go ahead and say, like, I think Chinese people love ping pong and math. Yeah. Oh, Just look at these teams. Have you ever looked at the badminton Olympic teams for a lot of countries, including European countries? Sometimes it's somebody who looks like this. Well, they're not on the basketball Olympic team, okay? Hell no. <laughs> Somebody said, why are Chinese good at math? Believe it or not, when Chinese kids learn Chinese when they are growing up, they count each stroke while they are writing a character. This helps wire the brain in ways that are useful later for math and geometry. So, Dave, I don't know if this is true, but oh. maybe it plays a small part. But actually, a lot of people have written a lot of lists about why Asians like math. And one of the things is, and this is, has to do with Chinese language, is that counting in Chinese is faster. As we know, right. when you say you don't have to say 11, 12, all these new words that make no sense. You just say 10, one, right? Like it's, right. Sure, you know, Shri, sh Shri. Right. so it's just like easier to count. So in that way, it might it's be already better. more math. You're already doing math right there by just adding it together. Somebody said, uh, yeah, look at the comments. You banana men, no matter what citizens you hold, you always consider Chinese. This Yo, is a Chinese person saying this to the Chinese diasporic people yeah. because obviously all the Europeans or, or white people or whatever people, Western people see this meme. They're like considering the, the American in the UK or whatever team Asian. Yes, exactly. So this is kind of a shot at the westernized Asians saying that, yo, you're always going to be viewed as Chinese no matter what. Anyways. Yeah, that was like a whole identitarian uh, side angle, but also not, not fully wrong either. Somebody said, it's just a numbers game. The reason why the Asians in the U.S. are better at math is because you are in contact with the Asians that are better at math. Those are the ones that emigrated out of China in the 70s and are more rich and or educated. They bring up children that are educated. Mm. They bring up children of their children that are educated. The uneducated, bad at math Asians are still stuck in Asia. All right, this comment is interesting, and I agree with part of it. It is not entirely true, because as we know, there are a lot of different types of Asians who came to America, even different types of Chinese. Right. And they're not all, like, educated. Absolutely not, right? And a lot of the parents... Not all of them are nerds and dorks and It is <laughs> true that I, I would guess that a lot of these elite, elite tier mathletes, their parents may be teachers, professors, engineers, or academics of some type, yeah. brain workers. I'm it's not, highly likely, no, no. like I, nine out of 10. And this is where the stereotype, David, can get very specific. Should we say that Asians from educated families really care about math? Like, that's not a crazy statement. Is that like a generalization yeah, for but educating? Obviously, yeah, I don't know. I mean, this, this, this comment had to do with self-selecting, uh, self-selective immigration waves. Right. And how does that skew our perception or our biases or our stereotypes? Because a lot of people in America, Andrew, we only know what we know in America. We're not living in Asia where even like the scariest gangsters are still Asian, yeah. right? But even, and it's been well-documented, guys, all the schools in Asia, essentially, they drill math faster at a younger age. I'm not saying they're all smarter or better people or and, whatever. Because some people say, oh, it's all rote memorization. Right. It's not as creative math or as yeah, problem solving. I get solving. it. I get it. I'm just saying they're good with the multiplication table very quickly. Somebody said, now do this with basketball teams around the world. And then somebody said, yeah, what would they look like? This was a comment, by the way. This was not what I said. Yeah, yeah, obviously. I mean, uh, uh, that's that's a funny comment because yeah, we well, all know what they're talking about. Yeah, I mean, let's just say right now, obviously it's Dirk Nowitzki, but right now the best German player in the NBA right now, uh, I mean, I guess you could say it was Mo Wagner, but it, it could be Dennis Schroeder. Or, yeah. you know, the best player out of Japan, Andrew, is still Rui Hachimura. I mean, the, the best, best player from Greece is Giannis. Yes, exactly. So I, I guess, uh, yeah, I mean, that's... <laughs> and guess what? I mean, it's What's crazy it? when you're thinking of the best basketball player from a country, even if a country doesn't seem like it has a very high black population, you might think that that person is black. Or even in a country that's not very full of like white people, you might think, yo, who's the richest banker? Right. And you're thinking of like a white or a Jewish person, regardless of if that country has a high population of that group so of people. So I guess this goes back to that question of stereotypes. If you show the basketball teams from different countries, and a lot of the guys, and not all of them will be, but a lot of them will be black, of, of some African heritage. And then if you show the math teams and then a lot of the people predominantly are Asian, I guess like people right off the bat, they're just gonna be like, oh, Asians like math, 
and they're good at that and they suck at basketball and then black people are good at basketball and then blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? Like, right. like that's the easy stereotype. But it, obviously it's more complicated than that, but we are talking about the highest level of things. Yeah, I mean, I guess we are referring to a lot of countries that have a high volume of immigrants though, Andrew, the UK, Canada, right. Australia, United States. These countries theoretically should be pulling I guess what, some of the strongest mm -hmm. people from around the world at, at whatever they're good at or something like that. Somebody said this joke is getting old. If this keeps happening year after year, then white people are going to be having a crisis. Mm -hmm. Do you think that white people are in a crisis if they no longer are like any of the top mathletes in their in a country that was originally, you know, I guess primarily white people. Yeah, actually, if you look at the boys team on the U.S. side, there is it looks a lot more diverse, I guess I would say. <laughs> it's but more, on it's the, more diverse in the sense it's less Chinese. Right, but the girls' Olympiad teams, they seem very, very Asian. So I don't know if it's, like, about, like... Value systems, you mean even, like, putting gender into it, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. Well, you if know, you guys I mean, know about China, the men and the women are actually quite equal relative. It's like actually not very patriarchal right. relative to even other East Asian countries. Somebody said, if you can't beat them, join them. Mm. Somebody said, there's also a culture of ignorance in the United States. In Asian countries, it's more cool to be smart compared to the cultures of the West. Being into building model rockets in fourth grade would yield very different social backlash in those two anthropological environments. Basically, yeah. long story short, Andrew, in America, there is a culture of ignorance around knowing uncool things, even if those uncool things like math are incredibly important for society. Right, right. And I just feel like that's why I want to say the stereotype should be that not Asians are necessarily good at math, but they care about being good at math. Mm. Like Asians care. I think a lot of, I think anybody can be good at math if they care enough. But yeah. to be honest, a lot of people don't care. But a lot of people use that as an excuse. And I actually went on a math Reddit board to do some research. And somebody said, listen, this is the, their studies have shown this. Until you get to a very advanced level of math beyond what you'd be normally studying at a base level in college, you actually do not really need any unusual aptitude to learn the math. You just need to put in the effort and not hate the math. And it certainly seems that Asians on average study pretty hard and enjoy math or at least don't hate it. David, you know what a Chinese guy once told me? And this is a real quote. He said, he, he was born in Asia. He was like, you know, to me, I have fun solving a math problem. That is how I get my dopamine. Like, I have fun. It feels good. Right. You know, and, and he's talking about it almost like hitting a three-pointer. You know how you feel when you hit a three-pointer, David? Right. That's how he feels when he solves a math problem. Right. Math algorithm, you know what I mean? And I'm just saying, once you have that built into you, and that's not necessarily something you're born with. I don't necessarily believe. No, because a lot of people will be like, oh, well, you know, it's Asians. They like math genetically. Yeah, well, it's in there. It's sewed into their double yeah. helix. No, it is taught that they draw enjoyment from it. And right. then once you enjoy something, oh my God, you can be amazing. And I it. think there's a culture in Asia of like cheering each other on in math yeah. class too. When the one guy who did the toughest math problem, people were like, oh, wow. Look at that guy. He solved that. In America, they're like, huh, look at this sexless nerd. Yeah. That's the dweebiest little dick guy around. <laughs> no, it's true. That's, that's the American culture. Uh, obviously, I'm saying it in extremes, but that's Ooh. the truth. Somebody said, what do you expect from people who invented the world's first calculator? Obviously, we're talking about the abacus. Yeah, nice. Um, Andrew, let's just get into our takeaways, man. What do you think about this? Because this, the, the, the comments could go on forever because guess what, Andrew? This meme's going to pop up again next year. With, uh, a, with a whole new cr cr uh, group of people that are still going to look Asian. I mean, if you look at the careers that a lot of Asians end up going to, even if you come from a mathematician family or not, a lot of them end up going into accounting, engineering, finance, running a small business. Which still is actually a lot of numbers. Low and key. these are all four things, bro. You better bust out a spreadsheet because you're going to need it for all of these jobs, essentially. Or you need to know math on some level. Right, right. Obviously, if you're doing engineering, you're going to need a command of much more yeah. advanced but, math. But, but if, if you're running a small business, the math is everything. Like, bro, at least the basic Dude, basic you're going to be marking out your inventory. What costs this? Oh, I made this uh, even bowl of pho. What's the cost of this bowl of pho? Right, you have to cost do math. Sold and yeah, exactly. Your cogs, all these things. So I guess, like, what I'm saying is that I think Asians are just exposed to math early on as part of life and they enjoy it and they feel like it's important to understand math because they, they know that it's like the building block of a lot of things, but it is nerdy. I'm not going to lie. It's nerdy. It is. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I mean, if you looked at all the kids that were the ultra high tier mathletes, they don't look like the kids uh, on TikTok David, David, or IG models. I'm a YouTuber. Or you think I know how to read this problem here? Let a sequence of N and 
greater than less than the one be the positive real numbers of the property that a n sequence to the second a to i don't know yeah. I don't know read this. Like, I don't know, man. I, I think it is actually a great discussion about stereotypes as well. Like, are they just observable patterns? How problematic are stereotypes? How true are different stereotypes? Like, obviously, some are probably a lot more true than others. Obviously, I'm not saying stereotypes are true to 100 out of 100 level in the way that a lot of people misapply them. But clearly, there had to have been a pattern of observation that people noticed to, to, to even develop that stereotype in the first place, right? Yeah. But I'm, I'm not going to lie. Listen, I think it's going to be... A funny meme for years to come. Do I think that that there's just gonna be a, a lot more Asian kids that are math Olympiads, bro? Hell yeah! Listen, all I know is that math is so associated with like Chinese nerds, or that there's Robin Gan, the math rapper, and he's good. His song, like he's he's still good at rapping. I smoke my calculus. Don't need no calculator. Anyway, guys, let's run the clip. Let us know what you guys think in the comment section below. What do you think of the stereotype that Asians are, are so good at math or that they love math more than other groups of people? Is it right? Is it wrong? And until next time, we're the Hot Pot Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.